Yes, hello and welcome back to the next episode of the Electric Rock Crawler Rebuild. As you maybe saw in the last episode, I uh, found out that the gearing was wrong. I underestimated uh, the motor's capacity to get this transmission started. So what I've done so far now is that I removed uh, my small little axle and I used my big grinder to cut. So I got this uh, welding away and I retrieved the sprocket. I will also use my latte to drill a 25 millimeter hole here so I can get this flange. Uh, I also found a new sprocket. This is 57 compared to the one I used before, it's 34. So I will almost have a, a half gearing, twice as strong when it starts up. I also have a plan to replace the motor to an uh, enclosured water-cold motor because I realized that the, the, the RPMs will be quite low so I don't think the motor will get enough cooling and if I do that I can also use this fan-cooled motor in the electric snowmobile and that uh, I think I will try to use the fan to warm up my battery pack in that one so that's one of my plan I have for upcoming projects. But uh, I will start to machine this uh, new axle. Also, I will use a 30 millimeter shaft compared to 25. I think uh, I have some uh, comments that uh, this may be not be strong enough, and uh, I think I go for that. So I found uh, also 30 millimeter, 30 millimeter bearings. So I will try to get that. Uh, fixed. Yes, enjoy! It's got uh, better than expected. I uh, used a 26mm drill instead. And then I just took the grinder and, and cut the edge off. And so it uh, was quite easy. And then I drilled through with 26mm. It doesn't matter because I'm going to use this uh, shaft so I can uh, make some flanges to make them fit. Yes. Yes, and I measured uh, the sprocket to fit the motor is about to sit 115 millimeters from the side of this flange. And I also have some adjustments uh, on the motor with this uh, Bekelhoff system. Now the sprocket is fixed in the right angles to the, to the shaft. Now I'm going to tack it and then I'm going to weld it on both sides. And you may wonder why I don't use this one. Well, this is for another project. And it's, uh, it's a bit expensive, and I think this is a, a quick and dirty way to do this, as usual. I think I managed to get that one straight. So that should be working. Well, this got a bit tight. I think I just... Uh Cut my subframe here in the stride off on every every side of it, and then it's I must uh, rebuild this one with new uh, fixing points for the bearings, and uh, the sprocket is touching also here and uh, to this edge. I think the easiest way is just to cut it away and then. Uh, rebuild on my bench it's much easier than trying to crawl around under here well I just cut the subframe away from the rock crawler and uh, here is the new 
drive shaft and uh, as you can see here it's uh, I have to cut in that one and then I also have to make new flanges here so I make we can rise it a bit uh, and then I also must uh, modify these two because this uh, 13 and 4 motor is a bit bigger in diameter so it touches these, I can't get it in position so I must cut here on both these but I think I'm gonna start to make new flanges and then try to cut this and make some reinforcements here so I can get the sprockets there now I've been trying to fit this uh, different gearing to the subframe for the motor and uh, this uh, cardan axle and I have to cut in the frame here so the sprocket can fit. I also remove these flanges here so I will weld these on and these are for uh, the, these bearings are larger because I, I choose the, the build with a 30 millimeter axle stand instead of this 25 millimeter so it would get a bit stronger but uh, I also have to change motor because I want this uh, 1304 and uh, that one is a bit wider in diameter so I have to cut here 10 millimeters so it, it fit here so that's the, the next thing I will do here now I made a subframe finished uh, and it starts to look like as if the local blacksmith have been onto it but now this big uh, sprocket is running free I also made uh, a tensioner here for the chain as I uh, did not do in the first version so now I can tension that one easier, easier. and I also made room for the larger diameter uh, 1304 motor so now I will paint this except for these uh, points where I'm going to weld it to the electric rock roller then it's time to do some test run again. Well, I managed to get it in place and it's painted and ready to get the other stuff put on. Now the motor and the new gearing is in place. Um, this is a water cooled motor, so I also fitted this uh, small radiator and this is from a dirt bike. And uh, I am betting on surf, surf circulation. I have no electric pump or something like that. I hope it's gonna work. Here you can see the hoses and uh, yeah, the transmission. Now I'm very thrilled to test this one. You see how it works. This is gonna be very interesting. Okay. Thank you. 